the world is full of health information that can help people make better decisions. Everyone has their own experience of going to the doctor. They tell you, oh, your blood pressure is X over Y. And like, oh, that's cool. What does that mean? Is that good? Is it bad? And no one, you know, it's always confusing. The possibility of presenting information graphically has clearly a huge potential, but we lack data about how to present data. The main goal of visualizing health is to give people ideas for how best to present health data and to help them understand that there is no single best way to present data, that it really does depend upon what your goals are and what your purpose is and who you're trying to reach. The University of Michigan was great. They were on board to try different methodologies, but always they had the background and foundation of really good, sound research. We were learning a lot about traditional research, just as the Michigan researchers were learning a lot about agile science or lean science. The wizard may be one of the most important parts of what we've created on the Visualizing Health site. It's just a couple questions that we realized as we were developing this project are absolutely essential to figuring out the match between the type of graphic that you want and the needs that you have for the data. Anybody who's trying to convey health information with the goal of reaching the most people and the most impact on everyday behaviors, that's our target. So the ultimate user of the tools that we developed for visualizing health are consumers, citizens, ordinary people who are faced with difficult challenges, difficult questions in their day-to-day -day health decisions. And that's what a culture of health is really about. A culture of health is about making health a positive experience. That's what we hope these visualizations can address. One little tool that can help us make those decisions with more ease. I really hope this is the beginning and not the end, and that we've started the conversation. And it's not really a statement. It's meant to be carried on and continued. We're hoping to encourage designers and researchers and uh, health professionals uh, to build on what we've done, to adapt some of our messages, and to really kind of be inspired by what we're doing.